if someone asked me what's the difference between Syrian conflict and Chalmedian, at first I would just ignore it. Well, I would find it quite silly as a matter of fact. But after giving it a thought, well, there is something in this question, to be honest. Because what it is, a Syrian conflict actually resembles a Chalmedian simply because this little creature changes its skin coloration as many times as Syrian conflict has changed its nature already. As we remember, in 2011, it started as a peaceful demonstration, similarly to Velvet, Orange or Tulip revolutions. But by the end of the year of 2011, it has really turned into a military standout between the regime and the rebels. In 2013, after Gotha attacks, it started being reminiscent to the experimental ground for the regime chemical exercises. Consequently, after a failure of Geneva II, thousands of jihadi fighters overflowed Syria with their presence and that changed it to the Syrian civil war. Finally, in September 2014, Syria lived to see the day of the US-led intervention, which was promised in 2012. That is the reason why to different people this conflict can resemble totally different social phenomena. Well, some people still see it as local uprising. Others see it as increasingly sectarian pursuit of power. Maybe more sophisticated scholars would see it as conflict between Sunni and Shia branches of Muslim religion. Yet, it might be also a proxy war between Saudi Arabia and Iran or USA with Russia. So constantly changing uh, internal nature of this conflict and complicated character makes it extremely difficult to follow for anyone who is interested in the Middle East. In order to go into the bottom of the issue, I think we need to treat it as a huge combination of everything, of all of these conflicts which were mentioned before. Well, we are quite interesting as a humanity. We tend to be very resourceful and inventive. It is, however, not always the most decent endeavors we are very particular about. If we on only manage to invent as many ways of making peace as we have developed means of killing each other, our planet would have been a much more safer place to live in. Indeed, far too often the contemporary policymakers and political commentators have been faced with a huge difficulty when they are asked to name all of the types of modern warfare. These types of conflicts are extremely diversified, starting with confrontations between two or more nations, following by world wars, cold wars, uprisings, revolutions, last but not least, civil wars. Most of these conflicts tend to be very deadly, unpredictable and resource consuming. But when it comes to the latter, the global policymaker is usually not particularly concerned about the outcome. Well, they see it as very localized conflicts that should not have any impact on the global architecture of power. And that is why perhaps conflicts like a civil war in Democratic Republic of Congo, Somalia or Colombia can go unnoticed for generations without making headlines in Western media. There are, however, number of exceptions from this rule. For instance, the French Revolution of 1789, the American Civil War of 1861, Bolshevik Revolution in Russia in 1917, and many other local events that have undoubtedly changed the course of history. And now we have a question. The question is what future historians will make of Syrian conflict? Well, I think it's too early to speculate about that. Whatever happens, whether the Syrian regime will eventually survive, or it will be replaced by a moderate or jihadist rebels, we can already say that this conflict will be remembered as a very unique phenomenon that has already forced the global policymaker to seriously consider its policy towards the Middle East, not once, not twice, but at least a number of times. Of course, uh, we may say that for the last 20, 25 years, humanity has been finding itself in very similar situations especially when it was dealing with atrocity committed in Rwanda, Chechnya, former Yugoslavia, Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Mali, or now Ukraine. But unlike these events, the Syrian conflict will be remembered in the literature of the subject as a very unique occurrence of tremendous importance, unprecedented in the history of warfare. No other conflict has ever had such coverage in the media like this one. Furthermore, no historical or contemporary conflict 
Not even the Spanish civil war that bears certain resembles to Syrian conflict could be compared to Syria. And that is for one simple reason. Because this conflict is so complex and the local theater of war is so diversified that it is even confusing for the most sophisticated political analysts. Even if Bashar al-Assad's regime will be gone, Syria won't be stable for generations to come. So Syrian chameleon will keep changing its colors for the next 10, 20 or 30 years. As we remember the civil war in neighboring Lebanon that lasted 30 years, it ended not because someone won this conflict, but sim simply because people were fed up with fighting. On behalf of International Relations Daily, Piotr Pietrzak.